Hello everyone, welcome to your energy check-in for today. Um, this is where we check in with your energy and your person's energy. So we're going to go ahead and start with your energy. Um, I'm going to scooch this down just a smidge. There we go. It's better. Um, so spirit, uh, can I get the collective's energy, please? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles reversed, Taurus, Ace of Wands, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, we have the Empress, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus, we have the Queen of Swords, which is Virgo and Libra. Um, wow, so we're going to start with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is, Seven of Pentacles is basically nurturing and, you know, like cultivating your Pentacles. To me, Pentacles are kind of like intentions, like hopes and dreams. But with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, you're actually, you're not doing that. There's kind of a stagnancy there. You've planted the seeds, but you're not really cultivating them. Um, we have the Queen of Swords here. So this kind of tells me, so with the Queen of Swords, she is someone who stands in her truth, stands in her power. She's fair, but compassionate. We have, of course, the Empress, who is grounded, nurturing, creative, um, the Empress is very much about self-love. Whatever these pinnacles is, you could be putting those on hold while you focus on yourself. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed, which is coming in out of the cold. And then Ace of Wands, which is growth. Um, this feels like you... I want to say maybe you planted these pentacles in order to get yourself out of the cold. My stomach is rumbling. But somehow you maybe you put it on hold in order to work on yourself more. Um, put those pentacles. You're like, I'm just going to put a pause on these pentacles. I'm going to work on myself more. Um... So let's get your person's energy. We're going to clarify those. I think we're going to clarify them with tarot and yin yang oracle. Um, uh, the collective's person's energy, please. We have the Eight of Cups, um, Pisces, Five of Cups, Scorpio, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Ace of Swords, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow. I'm like trying to put together okay so here we have the eight of cups five of cups and the ace of swords reversed this person could have lied to you because the ace of swords is about a new beginning we have walking away they could have ghosted you five of cups but they regret it they could have lied to you they could have ghosted you to me ghosting is kind of like lying it's lying by omission, but they regret it. You have the Eight of Pentacles. 
this person, you have the seven of pentacles reversed. They have the eight of pentacles reversed. So you have planted the seeds, but you have ceased nurturing and cultivating them. They have planted the seeds, nurtured and cultivated them. They've even picked them. Look, this is but they're just picky. stagnant now. Beautiful, picky. beautiful. But they're just stagnant now. That could be because this is them working on their intentions, but they're not working on them because Eight of Pentacles is work. They're not working on them. So both of you are in a, a place where you've ceased working on the things that you need to work on in order to improve your life. This person, I feel like they, this, your person stopped working because they ghosted you. They lied to you and they're in a lot of regret. You stop doing it, working, because you're focused on yourself. This person could have lied to you, ghosted you, and you're like, you know what? I just need me time right now. I need to work on myself. We have the eight of the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So, the Knight of Wands is <sighs> knights are declarations. Declaration of passion and growth. Declaration of the truth. You are in your Queen of Swords energy. They're in their Knight of Swords energy. And they lied to you. So there's a big air of needing truth here. This person lied to you. They want to come in with the Knight of Swords. They want to come in with the truth. You are focusing on your growth. And so they're making a declaration. Hey, I want to grow with you. Let's grow together. But you're focused on yourself. And they're focused kind of like on you making amends. So let's, let's get the connecting energy between the two. <laughs> Sorry, hiccups. Are you okay? Yes, which is weird. I haven't had any coffee. It's just hiccups. So, um, hiccups. I, I believe the spiritual meaning of hiccups is an inability to, to speak. It's a throat chakra thing. It could be that this person um, doesn't know what to say. They're kind of tongue-tied. I heard sympathy. They want, they could have hiccups, and which doesn't allow them to speak. They're like, oh, you know, they kind of want sympathy that they have hiccups. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, connecting energy, please. Oh, goodness. Okay. You know, um, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not taking these. Can I get one more, please? <laughs> I'm not taking that one. Spirit. Can I have, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, um, next week, the veil between the 3D world and the spirit world really starts to thin. And I noticed with my bonus reading that I did, um, that it, it was so... There was confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. Now I just got another confirmation of what's going on here. And I'm like, my readings are probably going to get more and more um, clear and um, accurate. We have the Seven of Swords. They lied. There's deception here. I feel like I said that this person could have lied to you. And... You are the Queen of Swords. You want the truth. They're coming in with the Knight of Swords to make a declaration of truth. Because they lied. They walked away. They could have ghosted you. We have Temperance. Temperance is balance. Patience. There, there needs to be a balance here. Nine of Swords is protection. This is protecting... This To me, this is... Because the Nine of Wands is about completion. It's about protecting what you've... It's 
Seven of Wands is protecting what you've built, but the Seven of Wands is a little bit more um, involved, a little more of, of a defensive stance, where the Nine of Wands is more of a quiet um, perseverance. You are definitely, I feel like you, so the connecting energy applies to both. Deception, you want the truth, they deceived you. Temperance, you both have halted work on what you are doing, working on these pentacles that you're working on. You to focus on you right now because of what they did to you. They could have really broken your heart. And you're like, I just need to work on me right now. And then they stop because they're like, oh my God, I really hurt the collective. I need to fix this. And then we have, so there's, there's, that balance here of the focus is not on this pinnacle, on, on your pinnacles. It's on you wanting justice and them wanting to give you justice. We have the nine of wands, which is a protection. You're protecting yourself. They could be protecting their dignity. That's what I heard. We have the page of wands, a message of growth. Um, but page, but wands is also about passion and this person's coming in with a declaration of growth and passion. And then we have the page of wands. I feel like you guys do have passion for each other, but things are kind of quirky right now. We have the wheel of fortune cycles. This could be just another cycle that you guys are going through. Um, let's clarify. There's some dark woods tarot. Um, Spirit, five of pentacles reverse. Can you clarify? Let me make sure they're up right here. Can you clarify the five of pentacles reverse? Wow, we have the six of pentacles. Reciprocity. The Five of Pentacles Reverse is getting out of the cold, coming in out of the cold. Um, this is why you planted the planted your pentacles. Because the Six of Pentacles is reciprocity, generosity. You want to, I, this makes me feel like you want to give back the way you've been given to. Um, like I kind of resonate with that because um, I always told myself when I, when I become, you know, when I become, have my money coming in and I have my, you know, money, like all of my money, I want to give back to people that are important to me and who've helped me out in my life. There are places I want to donate to that really treated me well when I was down and out, like, um, there's a homeless shelter in Marion I want to do, I want to um, donate to because they were so good to me. I had a horrible panic attack and they took care of me and got rid of the person who gave me the panic attack. Um, so stuff like that, reciprocity. Um, so yeah, that, that's why you planted these pentacles in order to get out of, you know, because the five of pentacles is about like, not like poverty, but like financial struggles. And you want to get out of that so you can start giving back. Seven of pentacles reverse. Can you clarify, please? You have the 10 of wands burden. Yeah. You know, with, with what this person did to you, it's like an emotional burden on you. That's why you stopped working on these pentacles. You put you put your financials to the side because it was becoming too much of a burden. You realize I need to work on myself. I need to do some healing. I need to get, I, I, right now, the, the working on my finances, working on my stability is just um, um, distracting me. I need to work on me first. Queen of Swords, can you clarify, please? Can you clarify the Queen of Swords, please? The 
Okay, that's too many. Let me get some lights in. So next week, um, I'm gonna start doing mediumship readings. And if you don't know what mediumship readings, they are readings that call forward uh, passed over loved ones. So I will be calling forward passed over loved ones. Um, uh, I, th I don't know how many I'm gonna do next week. Uh, maybe four or five to six, because I'm not only gonna do them during the week, but I'm gonna do them all over the weekend. Um, not just for Samhain, um, but also for Dia de los Muertos. I'm going to need to do readings for that. Um, Queen of Swords, can you clarify, please? No. Let's do a yin yang oracle. They didn't want to give me anything. My stomach is wobbly. Okay. Let me get food. Okay, so we're going to pull yin yang oracle. Clarify this queen of swords, please. We have, nur normally I don't take oracle in reverse, but this came out in reverse nurturing and compassion. Queen of Swords is about the truth. Um, you could, this could be, maybe you're avoiding self-love, you're avoiding nurturing and um, self-nurturing, self-compassion. And you're like, I need to really get real with myself about the fact that I'm not giving myself the self-love that I really need to have. I need, this is about acknowledging the fact that you need to nurture yourself more and be compassionate with yourself more, okay? So Empress, can you clarify the Empress, please? Wow, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is about understanding your inner emotions, knowing how to balance them. Okay, that is very important when you're, when you're embodying Empress energy. But the high priest is also about secrets. So you could be doing all of this in secret. You could probably, you're probably not telling anybody about this. Ace of Wands, can you clarify, please? Wow. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed is, you know, <clears throat> In the beginning here, you planted these pentacles in order to get out of these financial issues, lack, um, so that you can start giving back. And now we have the King of Pentacles reversed. We have the Ace of Wands, which is growth, personal growth, spiritual growth. However, that shows that you could still be having money problems. There could be a lack of financial growth here for you. So let's move on to your person, Ace of Swords Reverse. Can you clarify, please? Wow, we have the Two of Swords, Indecision. So we have the Ace of Swords Reverse and the Two of Swords. This person is needing to make a decision. They, they're, they're not able to make a decision. Um, it's not not making a decision on whether to tell you the truth. They want to tell you the truth because we have the Knight of Swords coming in to tell you the truth. This could be a decision if now is the right time to do that. They know they lied. Is now the right time to come in and tell them the truth? I don't know if now is the right time because they seem pretty detached right now would I just make it worse so let's move on to the eight of cups can you clarify please eight of cups when it comes to this person we have the nine of pentacles 
This is Wish Fulfillment. This is stability. This is being good where they are. They could have walked away because they're good where they are, where they, when they walked away, they were good where they are. You know, they're like, you know, um, everything's cool now. They could have walked away because they could have felt like this connection could have disrupted this nine of pentacles. So it's kind of selfish. Uh, five of cups, can you clarify please? We have the hermit. Seeking answers. Yeah. We have regret with the five of cups and clarifying the hermit. They are also in like, a, I wanted to say a secret place. Looking for answers on what went wrong because they have a lot of regret over what happened. Um, Eight of Pentacles reverse, can you clarify please? They might want me to pull a yin yang oracle. Nothing's coming out. spinning oh will of fortune reversed they could be receiving bad karma because they're not working on their pentacles i feel like they walked away because they felt that this connection would disrupt their pentacles their nine of pentacles however we have the eight of pentacles reversed however it had the opposite effect they're starting to receive some bad karma their pentacles are going down the toilet. So they're getting karma now for walking away from you. Their, their stability is starting to suffer. Knight of Wands. Um, can you clarify, please? Judgment. Yes. Karma. Judgment is evaluation of your past and letting it go. Then we have the Knight of Wands, which is a declaration of growth, but Knights are also impulsive. Knights rush in. This is like them coming forward and saying, making a declaration to you that, hey, I've seen the error of my ways. I know I was dishonest. Can you forgive me? <laughs> Hiccups. Two of swords. They can't, they find themselves not being able to get the words out. This could hit them in the pride. Knight of swords, can you clarify please? Wow, now we have the Ace of Swords. We have the, in the beginning we had the Ace of Swords reversed and the Two of Swords not being able to know if now is the right time. Now we have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is them saying, you know what? Screw it, I'm coming in and I'm telling them the truth. I'm telling them what happened, why I ran, all of this stuff. They're, they're like, they're Mr. Honesty or Miss Honesty at this point. Um, Seven of Swords connecting energy. Can you clarify, please? Ooh, Five of Swords. This is conflict. Yeah, it's definitely caused conflict because you, they really hurt you. And you are just, you are really focusing on yourself. You could be focusing on healing. And with them, it's affecting their stability because... They walked away from this connection because they thought that it was going to affect their stability, and it did. And so now it's like a big old conflict. Because, <laughs> oh my god, did you see that? Because they lied. Um, 
I'm going to take these. I want to see what they have. We have justice. Yes, they owe you justice. Page of cups, a message of love. They want to tell you that they love you. The devil with toxicity, bound patterns. I'm going to put those right here. We're going to find out what that is. I'm going to keep these here. So I can find out what that is. Page of Cups. They want to bring you justice with the Page of Cups and tell you that they love you. And they want to tell, why, tell you why they walked away. It could be whatever this devil card is. We'll find out what that is. Um, temperance. Can you clarify, please? Four of Cups. We have the five of cups is their energy regret four of cups is like you guys both of you guys could be in like this sad reflection like you guys are uh, reminiscing sadly on what's going on all of this turmoil okay with temperance there's a need for balance here you guys are balanced but not in the right way you both are balanced because you're, you've stopped focusing on your finances to focus on your healing, on yourself. Their finances or their stability has been disrupted. Okay? So that's the balance. Both of your guys' stability has been disrupted. Because what they did really hurt you and they know that they really hurt you. And so they're working on, I, I, I got to fix this. Okay? Nine of Wands, can you clarify, please? It's so weird. A lot of weird things are happening. Like, on my end. Like, the, the, the bonus reading I did was insane. This, I have cards flying out of the deck. <laughs> all by themselves. We're getting closer to when the veil is thinnest. Samhain, Day of the Dead. <sighs> but I feel like it's a test from the divine to see if I can handle it. Handle the this influx of spiritual energy. I can handle it. <laughs> I can handle it, spirit. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So with your person, they stopped working the, on the Eight of Pentacles. They walked away because it was going to affect their, 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 um, they were good, right? With this, they were content with this line of pentacles, but they, with the eight of pentacles reverse, it's like, oh crap. But we have the eight of pentacles and the nine of wands. Nine of wands was about protecting your vulnerability, protecting, per, the nine of wands to me is, is, protecting everything you've built everything you know like in my charms the master key i said always keep your master key close to you that's what the nine of wands is that master key protecting that master key to self then we have the eight of pentacles which is working on your stability i feel like by protecting yourself and remaining detached It will allow you, once you've healed, I feel like for you, once you've healed yourself, you can start working on your stability again. For this person, once they give you justice, they can start working on their stability again. But this is protecting the uh, um, wounded warrior, protecting your wounds. With your person, I think it's protecting your, their pride and dignity, their integrity. Page of Wands, oh. <laughs> Page of Wands, can you clarify, please? Like last night, I was watching TV, and the fan in the bathroom fell off. We have a fan sitting above the toilet because it gets hot in the bathroom, and especially like when we take a shower, we don't like running the fan. Like running the bathroom fan during a shower, it freaks me out because in my daughter's uncle in his condo, he would run the fan in the bathroom and it caught fire. Um, but my daughter's dad puts a fan in the bathroom because it gets hot in there. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it just like literally fell off the top of the toilet. It's never done that before and it did last night. Um, so like, it's just, it's, it's, things are a little crazy right now. And I feel like as it gets closer to the end of the month, it's going to get crazier. So we'll find out. So we have the page of wands and the five of wands conflict again. There's a need here. A message of growth. This connection is very, very much about growth, personal, spiritual, financial, what have you. But there's a conflict. This could be a conflict of interest, a conflict. When it comes to pages are about learning, learning how to grow. But we have this conflict here. This conflict could it be impeding growth. There has to be, a, I wanted to say a resolvement. I know that's not a real word, a, re, a resolving of conflict before this growth can begin. Wheel of Fortune, can you clarify, please? We have the King of Wands reversed. This person could have been a player, maybe. Because we have the devil card codependency, this could have been, have been someone, they could have had someone else. Excuse the noise in the background. King of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse is a player. This person could be a player and this could be a cycle. Maybe you date players a lot or you date um, people who date a lot of people. But with it reversed, there has to be an end to that. So let's get, um, I said I was going, let's get some Yin Yang Oracle. I'm not gonna clarify each card. I'm just gonna pull um, a few, you know, like maybe five or six yin yang oracle to clear, get some clarification on what's going on in this connection. Okay, yeah, that fell right out. Facade. Lies. Someone lied. Someone did not tell the truth. The courage to change. I said that you, this is, that courage to change I feel is on both sides. Courage for them to change, maybe change their life if they could be, a, they might be a player, they might be um, addicted to something, codependency. You want the courage to change because you could be in a place where you're not giving yourself the self-love that you need to be and that you are growing to realize that that's what you need to do. Um, Hmm. Divine Feminine. Um, listening, both of you, listening to your intuition. Um, Divine Feminine, that's Empress Energy. Listening to your intuition. Um, Self-nurturing, self-compassion. <sighs> Focusing on, um, focusing on, on understanding your emotions, the intuition, because if you look, her third eye is, right, it's really focused in on listening to your intuition, listening to messages from the divine. Self-worth expectations. That could be a reason why you stopped working on your stability. This person could have really lowered your sense of worth. And your expectations of what this connection was. With this person, they walked away because of their self-worth. They were high on the hog. And now, because they walked away, they are... Can you turn that down a little bit? Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay. um, excuse the noise in the background. Sorry. It's okay. Um, but this person walked away because they had a high self, they had a high sense of self, and they thought that this connection could ruin that. But what happened in turn was now their stability and stuff is being affected. Hmm. Truth? Expressing the truth. Yeah. This person did not tell you the truth. Either they lied to you or they ghosted you. They omitted the truth. Uh... This, this connection could have been unexpected. Um, and yeah, I said both of you could be detached. So there could be distance between you guys, emotionally, physically. Um, let's get some of these. You know, it's weird like my daughter usually during the day she would she would be fine going into the family room and watching TV by herself now lately she doesn't want to do that she's either stuck to me or stuck to her dad it's really weird we have dreams addiction yeah we had the devil come out remember so there's some kind of codependency here a missed opportunity. Yeah, they missed the opportunity to tell you the truth. Travel. Um, we have distance here. You guys could be at a physical distance. Social media. You know, interestingly, social media came out under addiction. There could be a social media addiction here. And then we have ghosted. Yeah, I said they could have ghosted you. We have the Eight of Cups here. So we have dreams and travel so you guys could be seeing each other in your dreams you could be doing astro traveling astral an addiction to social media they ghosted you they missed your they missed the opportunity for this connection because they ghosted you um i really want to pull some cardomancy see if we can get some specifics can i get some specifics on this connection please Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. That is, okay. We're going to just pull, oh my God, that is way too much. Yeah. There's a lot. We're just going to go over them real quick. I'm just taking the ones that came out. Uh, look at how many there are. Four of Pentacles energy, a reminder that financial responsibility is necessary to achieve stability and property. I was talking about how you guys maybe put a, put, you put a hold on your working on your <laughs> financial stability to, to to heal from what this person did to you and their stability has been affected by walking away ghosting you you have eight of cups energy and upcoming social event or <laughs> upcoming social event will provide you with important connections this is eight of cups energy So, how to turn that down. Okay, upcoming social event will provide you with important connections. So, um, you know, interestingly enough, we have Eight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles could have been this important connection. This also kind of tells me they could have walked away from this important connection. Um, we have five of wands, energy and indication that it's time to make a change and learn something new. Yeah. Um,
Time to make a change and learn something new. Yeah, I feel like it's this person. I feel like it's this person. Like, they're just like, you know, I need to make a change. We have the devil energy coming out. We have social media addiction. Yeah. Uh, seven of Wands energy, feeling confined or trapped, usually in a romantic relationship. I said that this person could be a player. They could have maybe some kind of a karmic that is trying to trap them somehow and hold on to them. Nine of Swords energy, there will soon be a loss or ending in your life. I feel like that's completion. Nine of Swords is worry, anxiety. This is, could be that, that this person is worried about changing their lifestyle. It's giving them anxiety. But they know that it's time to make a change. This upcoming social event, interesting, like I can't, oh, we have the Queen of Swords, a cruel woman who is extremely manipulative and malicious i said that there could be um a karmic oh not that one <laughs> this one there could be a karmic that is trying to trap them extremely manipulative queen of uh, pentacles energy sophisticated woman who loves to party and gossip that could be it could be the same woman However, the Queen of Pentacles is light-haired. Queen of um, Spades is um, dark-haired. So this could be two women. We have Ace of um, Wands. Oh my gosh, I... I suddenly my mind went blank. Ace of Wands, energy, thirst for knowledge or special talent that you have. You had the Ace of Wands come out. Um, they have the Hermit. So you guys, this is just confirmation you guys are looking for answers. And we have the Nine of Wands. Um, energy, completion of a project or a phase. So I feel like this person is going to work through all of this. Work through the toxicity, work through whatever this addiction is. It could be social media. Um, what I want to do, I really want to see what this person has to say to you. Um, can, I, can I get messages? What does this person want to say to the collective? The yin yang oracle in here. It's the ace of swords, which came out, which is the third time it's come out. So this person really wants to tell you the truth. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. They really love you. <sighs> um I'm secretly obsessed with you. We had social media addiction. We had the devil card. They could be obsessed with watching you. If you have social media, they could be obsessed with watching you. I'm moving on with my life. Not from you, from whatever this is, this player. I feel like this person is like someone who's kind of maybe arrogant, prideful. They could be a Leo or an Aries. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. We had missed opportunity. And I'm trying to become someone you can trust. Yeah, because they lied to you. 
All right, let's get Romance Angels to find out. And we'll get Romance Angels. Um, and then I'll pull some charms and then we'll pull timing and I'll pull a message from the universe. Um, I'll pull a message from the universe and some tree telepathy for you. Um, Romance Angels. What do you have for this connection? Oh, interesting. Damn it. <laughs> Those came out really quick. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have religious factors. So religious factors could be, there could be religious differences here, spiritual differences. Take that how it resonates. Calling in your soulmate. This person is your soulmate. Heart to heart conversation. Oh. Yeah, that's really important. Um, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher Level of commitment. Yeah, this person definitely wants to ascend to a higher level of commitment. So, um, I said, let's get... Hey, I just saw something big. Okay, so I think what we're going... I'm going to pull charms and timing, and then I'll pull your advice. We have the magician. Magician is a master manifester. You guys could be manifesting this connection. We have a salamander. Um, Arizona or New Mexico could be important. Christmas could be important. Maybe you guys like Christmas. Lips. Uh, maybe you wear pink lipstick. Um, or they do. Remember I was talking about the Nine of Wands is the master key? Yeah, look. Protecting yourself, okay? Protecting who you are. We have um, butterfly transformation and change. Important. We have Taurus. That could be in your chart. We have divine timing. Very, very important. Trust in divine timing. Music could be important. Maybe you guys are musicians. You listen to a lot of music. And we have, oh, remember religious factors? Look. So religious factors could definitely play a part here. So let's get some timing for the next stage of this connection. Next stage could be... Um, a, like a big leap, like a big step, okay? Um, not necessarily union, not necessarily communication, just a next big change in this connection. Um, we have Christmas. Christmas could be um, one point of change. Uh, can I get another point of change for this? We have the Ten of Swords. Um, swords is um, weeks. So we have ten weeks. Um, could also be Christmas. Christmas, 10 weeks. That is 10 weeks is, is two and a half months. So we're at the end of, near the end of October, November, December. Christmas to about mid-January is when the next stage of this, um, is going to happen. So like two to two and a half months is going to be a next big stage of this connection. So I always look at it this way. When someone tells me, oh, it's going to be two months, two weeks. Oh, it's going to be like um, two weeks, two days. It's going to be um, two days, two hours. Because for me, that's how the time passes. Like if someone says, oh, it's going to be a month from now, I'm like, okay, a week. Because look at October. It's, I'm like, it's, we've already, we're already halfway, over halfway through October. Where the hell did the beginning of October go? 
I, I don't I don't even remember okay so that's kind of how um, that's how I see it okay um, so we're looking at between Christmas and like mid January for this um, but like if you tell yourself okay it's gonna be another couple of weeks you know two two and a half weeks eventually you forget about it and two and a half Christmas and New Year's <coughs> bless you Christmas and mid January is gonna be here before you know it and you're like what happened to what the hell happened to 2024 it's gone right <sighs> messages from the universe Advice, please, for the collective. When you continue to reminisce, replay, or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance. Let what was inspire a new way of living. Don't allow it to limit and determine what can be. Yeah, I said that you could have been in this Four of Cups. You guys have been kind of sadly reflecting on maybe what could have happened. This person is reflecting on on um, the missed opportunity and it's caused both of your guys's finances and stability to kind of go down the toilet so don't focus so much on what could have been but use it to fuel you to move ahead um let's get some tree telepathy as advice for you advice for the collective We have trust. You need to trust in a relationship for it to thrive. We had divine timing, trusting in divine timing, trusting in this, in, you know, spirit, um, trusting that this relationship is going to happen. This is your soulmate. Past life. We reunite with our loved ones over and over in different lives. Yeah, you could have had past lives with this person. Embrace what fate has in store for you. Um, that's again goes with trust, trusting the process. Um, but embrace is also a state of expectation. Okay. Um, like for me, I'm headed into, um, I could be entering into union at any time now. And I keep all the tarot readings I keep watching. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. So I have to just like release my expectations and say, you know what? It's not going to happen while I'm expecting it to happen. I just have to expect a surprise. I don't know when. I don't know where. I'm just expecting a surprise. Okay. Strength. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Yeah. Um, love is... For me, you might have noticed I have writing on my hand. So I try to live by the four highest frequencies, enlightenment, inner peace, joy, love, and gratitude. I, I know I said four, but to me, those are the five highest frequencies. Um, so it's really important um, to try to live in those frequencies. Um, so I want to go back to embrace. I know what I said kind of seems um, contradictive, but what I'm saying is expect the unexpected. Expect a surprise. Embrace what ha store fate has in store for you. Fate has something amazing in store for you, but it's a surprise. So expect a surprise. Don't just sit there being like, what is going to happen? Is it now? Is it now? Is it now? No, because it's not going to happen. Spirit's like, nope. You're expecting it, so I'm not giving it to you. You've got to wait until you're doing something else um um so yeah but that's what I meant so yeah I think that's um that's gonna be today's energy check-in remember to like and subscribe um all of my information is down below my services um personal readings if you'd like a personal reading that's down below a chart astro cartography map I have my life coaching courses and financial coaching listed down below. Um, I also have my social media, ways to donate to my channel. Um, my ebooks, if you'd like to purchase an ebook, that is down below. Um, and that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, remember to have a beautiful day, week, month, year, life. Um, remember to spread love, joy, compassion, gratitude, and kindness. And remember, remember to live in enlightenment, inner peace, joy, love, and gratitude. And I will see you next time.